All right, we're back with another video. Today, time's a little different. Got a new, um, new car for the channel, I suppose. I oh, know, it's stupid cheap, and I got it. So we got the old graveyard happening here. We got this fucking weapon. Finest $500 I've ever spent. Bloody beautiful. So yeah, picked this up on the weekend. Uh, I was going to vlog it, but got pretty retarded the night before. And yeah, but yeah, she's all there. Clean as fuck. Uh, executive. So no AC. I only just noticed that. Um, yeah, it's pretty clean for what it is. Um, and needs a good cut and polish. And it should come out pretty mean, I reckon. Um, I had rear quarter damage. Can't shut a new one in or can't shut. They replaced it. Um, so that needs to be painted. But fuck, man, 500 bucks. Like, sell the wheels for 400 Tail lights alone in that condition, easily three four hundred. Like fucking steel, man. Everything's straight as fuck. Um, front bump is mint, which is pretty rare these days. But yeah, we'll, fuck, we'll see if it turns over first go. But yeah, we'll fuck, bring it up to the house. Eh? Yeah, well, I reckon it'll be that key there. There you go. It's got stale as fuck fuel in it, so it's gonna run like a bit shit house. It's all there. But yeah, it's got stale fuel in it, but fuck man, it's even got that old car smell. Beautiful. I'll bring it up to the house. Fucking I was gonna part it out originally, but then I got it and it was clean as fuck. I was like, nah. Fucking daily it, manual swap. S18 front end, coil overs. Because, yeah, I got that for pretty much a grand and it was a rolling shell. I got this for 300, but that's the story to tell another day. Did a video on that, I'll put that in, but yeah, fucking I've come, let's do it. All right, put it back. So, from continuing from yesterday, yeah, here she is. Fuck, this thing brings me back some memories of my old silhouette that I had. Same colour, but obviously silo, bottom end. But fuck, man. Like... <whistles> Only thing is, is yeah, rear quarter needs to be repainted. Front fender is a different colour. But give this whole car a good buff, as he already has in that corner. And looks fucking mean. Give it all the buffs and see how it is. Not even the interior, man. Oh, but yeah. All right, we're back with this dunger. Now, I've had it for a week now. Been processing a few thoughts and ideas on it. It's fucking clean for what it is. Um. Body straight as fuck, except for that rear quarter that's been replaced. Rust free, the door seals are rust free, but got to take the guards off and assess it more. Paint's fucked, but I'll try and give it a good polish, see how it turns out. But there is stone chips everywhere. But worst comes to worst. <laughs> Sorry about the list. Um, worst comes to worst, I'll respray the whole car. Do it the same colour, but put metallic in it. Um, grill's fucking mint. But, yeah, dude. I reckon, yeah, fucking daily it, manual convert it. I'll keep it auto for now. See how long the auto lasts. Manual convert it later on, and then Sylvia front end and cool loads and shit. But first, needs a head unit. Oh, needs speakers and a new window. And a good detail and recorder painted and towel lights surrounds painted. And a service. 
But yeah, I'm about to go around and get some shit. But it came with filters, which is killer. Saves me like 50 bucks. So yeah, let's go get some fucking oil for it and it'll be on. All right, here we are. Another day. Another dollar. Nah. So, bought this little contraption from Super Cheap. It was on special. Got a bit of compound. And fucking Jesus, that's probably five, ten minutes worth. If you don't want to buy hand, probably half an hour's worth. But fuck, man, like, not bad. A few infections with the paint cracking. But for this being original paint, 30 plus years old, not bad. All right. Of course, it's going to chalk up like this. But once you give it a good polish, fuck day night difference man which is pretty killer so it's got me a bit more keen but yeah well fuck it we'll go to LA tomorrow pick up some fenders for this repaint them make it mint we'll check all the rust and shit as well but by the looks of it it's rust ray but find out and then yeah advertise it and see what we can get for it and then daily in the meantime and then possibly maybe manual swap it and S18 uh, front end it already got knuckles and shit sorted and most comes the worst, I can just flog them off again. But not bad, not bad. All right, another day, another fuck around. Bit has changed since the last clip. Um, started pulling apart the rear end, assessing the damage, I suppose you could call it. Yep. Alright, got the trims all off. So rear window, because they're cunty. And it's dirty, but it's fucking rust free. Even the one on the drift car, man, like, all, yeah, it's all rusted between here. But the car's gonna get fucking destroyed anyway, so I should be alright. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll give it a wash now and then. Give it a polish. Now we'll get a quick before and after. And do this. Oh, man. Not bad, good sores, no rest. Or as of yet. So we take these fenders off. Hopefully, by the looks of it, it looks clean, but yeah, I'm tad, tad scared. Yeah, it's, um, give it a polish then, I suppose, eh? All right, all done with the washing side things. Now we're giving it a good old buff. Done this rear quarter and buff and ooze. It's got to get right up into here still. And then, yeah. So, not too bad. Shiny, she dents here and there, but... What can you expect from a 30 plus year old car? So now we'll move on to this side of the roof. Do this side of the roof and then this A pillar. And then, yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do here. How exactly I'm gonna paint this rear quarter and make it look like it hasn't been painted, but we'll figure it out. And then I've gotta fuck, get some or something get this shit off yeah fucking shit shy oh well let's uh continue oh uh, another day done and dusted got to polished up let's go do the doors now but i'm replacing that front fender anyways but i thought i'd polish it anyways fuck see what it looks like but yeah it got mainly everything done the doors and then the rest of the shit on this side which is fun but came out all right yeah i'll pick this up another day all right we're back so finishing off polishing this big old turd um figured out what we're gonna do at this stage uh, I've got some new front fenders for it. And then I'm going to paint the whole rear quarter. So this is actually not two-pack, it's acrylic. Um, 
So you don't have to clear coat it. It's just one, it's just color coat and primer. So I'm going to paint probably from here downwards, paint all this. See how close it is to the original color. And then if it's too far, like too noticeable, I'm going to respray the whole car. Um, but we'll have to see what happens. Hopefully it doesn't come to that because it's going to be cunty. But if it does, yeah, it's one of those things. I want to flip this car, so I don't want to spend too much and only make a little bit extra. So I'm trying to spend the bare minimum to make the maximum amount of profit I could. So it's just one of those things you have to balance. So yeah, we'll fucking finish taping up and start going at it again. Oh, XL, shut the alternator this morning. It runs out of red road tomorrow, so fuck it. Let's get this done. Get it all polished up. Just primer this rear quarter for now. And then get some acrylic paint. Paint the dog. And then we'll be on. Until I lose my license. And I'll fucking sell it. I'll sell that. I'll buy Sylvia. Off. All right, so a lot has changed. Didn't film an outro either. Did I film anything after putting the 31 on the road? But I essentially dailyed it for two weeks and then I swapped it. I got this bad old girl. I've already made um, an introduction with this car to the channel. But essentially straight swapped it. Manual, genuine wheels, BC coils. It is high K's. Um, but in general, it's pretty straight. Paint's fucked. But end of the day, that 31 I had is literally worth these wheels alone. This car owes me 500 bucks. That 31 I had, oh sorry, sub grand. And that 31 I had, I probably would have only got 34 grand in it, the way the state of it was. And if I was to paint the red quarter, I wouldn't have made much more profit. But these wheels alone are worth that. So essentially, I got a car for free, minus the wheels. So I might be swapping this for a manual NA33, keeping the wheels, and then daily in that 33, putting these wheels on it. But these got a bad rep for the motors and how small they are, but fuck, they are fun cars. Um, I used to hate them, but now they're having one. I fucking love it. So either, yeah, I'll be swapping it or I might keep it, redo all the paint, get a new hatch as this one's got rust and is missing the wing and rear garnish. So I've got all those parts situated. So it runs out of red in two weeks. So I bought another 31. Plans with this one is is to clean it up. Well, original plans was to uh, part it out, but since owning it, it's pretty fucking straight. Original 99,000 kilometers. Does have service rust everywhere from sitting for a fair little while, but things fucking mint considering how much I paid for it. Like the serious ray front end and tail lights and that are worth what I paid for it alone. So, can't play too much. My, I'm going to be cleaning this up. At the moment, it's got a dead fuel pump, so I'll fix that, clean up, dally it, and then swap it for something. But, yeah, essentially, that's the end of the era to that 31, and the beginning of an era with this 300ZX and another <coughs> 31. Um, but, yeah, plenty more videos to come. Round three is in two weeks. 31's nowhere near completed, so we'll have to see what happens there. But if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe. Do all that jazz bullshit, and I'll see you in the next video of shenanigans, which there'll be plenty to come. Dan, it's shitbox cup to come. Yo!